Hi everyone, it's Kylie, and today I want to kind of do, I think this is a challenge, um, it's where you have somebody like guess the book synopsis based on the cover, and I have four books here, it looks like three but one's tiny, um, <laughs> what? Nothing. So anyways, so I guess we can just start with it, um, this is my husband Luke, and he is not a reader, so he's the perfect candidate for this. So let's start with the first one, and it's this one, which is Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson. So. Mm. Well, it looks like the person's alone. It looks like it's got magic in it, because there's like magic stuff coming off of the person in the, pit, the cover. Um, it looks like she is lonely, like she's missing somebody, maybe. And it looks like there is a lot of gold in the cover. So maybe that means, like, um, like, I don't know, like, she's of, like, royal descent, maybe. And it's, like, either morning time or it's, like, just getting dark. So maybe it's, like, um, I don't know, like, the start of something, I guess. Kind of. Really good, though. Okay. Um, so actually, this one is about a girl who has to, who she can, like, so she can, like, sense gold, oh, like, in the, the ground. Uh. And this is taking place during the gold rush, uh. if I remember correctly. It's been a while. But basically, she has, she's going undercover, dressing up like a boy, because during that time period, it's like a kind of like a men are more respected so she's running from somebody who spoiler alert like killed her parents and is trying to get her for her power so it's kind of like the Mulan of prospecting <laughs> kind of yeah this is the one I told you about with the golden retriever named Nugget oh I didn't oh like a gold nugget oh Gold nugget. I don't remember that, but... <laughs> oh. Well, this was like in January, but yeah. Okay, that was a long time ago. So there's that one. This is the small one, and it's this book. The Last Execution by Jesper Wung Sung. Oh. So, it's red, and there's blood on it. Um, it looks like it is in another country, because it says, translated from Danish, so I'm assuming it's something to do with... Danish people. It has a clock on it with an axe, and it looks like time is running out for like executions to happen, or it's the last execution, obviously, of somebody. And I don't know what time period it's from, but it looks like it's yeah, it's like two o'clock on the thing, two forty-five, two fifty on the clock. So I don't know. That's what I think. Okay. So this is a small one, but basically it's about the. Uh, I'm not sure the time period, but the the last execution in that town, um, and they're ticking down the time until the execution, and each chapter is from a different like villager's perspective, uh. and it's for the last execution, hmm. um, and you just get a glimpse into just what everybody thinks and what's happening and why. Hmm. So yeah. That's cool. You should read this sometime. It's just a tiny little thing. Okay. So this one is super popular. Okay. And it's Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like it's kind of like a Cinderella kind of thing. And it's a, it has a person, but she also has looks like a cyborg internal leg. Um, so it looks like she's not fully human, or at least like partially like post-human. Um, and there's like silver, like like shiny letters. So maybe there's like some like shininess to it. I don't know. And there's like a kid's casting a shadow, so maybe she's like a really that's like the main character's leg. Good job. <laughs> yeah, this one is a retelling of Cinderella, and it's got four books. And um, basically, she is a cyborg. Yeah. She's got like 
32%. She's like 32% cyborg, I think. And she, I'm trying to remember, it's been like two years since I read this, but basically, just like Cinderella, she's like, has to, she's a shitty stepmom. Yeah. And there is um, an outbreak of like um, a disease, like a sickness that's like wiping out the population. <sighs> and she has to figure out, or she doesn't have to, but she decides to, because someone close to her dies, that she needs to basically figure out what's going on with that. Hmm. And then the, the prince, um, Prince Kai, he, he ends up like not liking her because of prejudice reasons with cyborgs, but later on, he comes, he comes around. Hmm. That's and, interesting. Well, so she gets into trouble, I'm not explaining this very well, this is probably the worst explanation on the planet, but like, she gets into trouble when she, um, basically goes, um, it's been so long. And then I have my last one here. Okay. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Hmm. So, there's like lots of blue and blacks, and there's like obviously it's about magic because it says the last magician. Um, obviously, it's about someone who's probably the last magician, or like there aren't many, many. And then there's also a snake that's eating a snake that's dead, and a, uh, a dead snake that's eating a live snake. So it's kind of like maybe the candle's burning at both ends, and it's like. Maybe it's a crest for something. Like, someone's, like, the crest they have. Um, yeah. It's basically what it looks like. That's all I can see from here. Yeah. You did better with the other ones, I think. But there is a last magician. Kind of. Yeah. Um, basically, this is about a girl who um, is really good at stealing things because she can slow down time. And so she is tasked with basically going back in time to steal this book that um, has something to do with like kind of this belt that entraps everyone who's magical yeah into New York is it New York into a city I can't remember what city <laughs> but so she has to do that it's basically a heist to steal this from some top dog people um, and there's a lot of twists in it, I think. So. I don't have any other books. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, I hope this was entertaining. I don't really have a lot of other books right now in, like, my physical possession that I can use. But thank you for watching if you made it this far. This is my husband, Luke. <laughs> Bye. Bye.